welcome to my channel. All right, so you're going to come on a journey of sparklers. I've got time. I'm doing it. Oh, I thought I had opened this. I haven't even opened this. Oh my goodness. Um, this is the box I bought off Amazon to complement my other two boxes. So this is what you get when you buy a Doris bead container set. So this is um, the Elizabeth Ward. I'm looking for this bit down here, this magic bit. This actually says it's Elizabeth Ward. You can get copies of AliExpress. Now from what I have seen, and look, it's hardly surprising that there are copies on AliExpress. From what I've seen on Ali, the top looks the same. I'm not sure the catches are identical. And you do not get these stickers. Okay, you don't get those. You get the piddly small ones that you get in one of these, the little rectangles. Let me, oops, let me show you. I think this is what you get from what I have seen on Ali's sales page because one of my subs or somebody else in a Facebook group actually purchased one of these um, on the cheap and um, yeah you will see why these stickers are important and you know the first time I opened this it was like where do they go I felt really really stupid okay now uh, some of these come in Ziploc bags. Let me just situate myself. Uh, that. This, I think, is my stickers. And these are my leftover drills from putting them into containers. So they're my excess, I suppose you could call them. These stickers come from... Um, these have come from Tina in Sparklers and some of these have come from a couple of other sellers as well. Stickers are cool. Alright, so I will put that over that away and at this rate I'm probably going to need a separate box for stickers alone. So, yeah, you're just going to get in on my scatterbrained inventorying is that a word? And all right so there are drills oh it looks like there's lots of empty bags maybe I can take out the empty bags look at all these empty bags these are really good ziploc bags I don't want to chuck them chuck them I could use metho to get the words off let's see how we go for space all right uh, hang on while uh -huh. this is why I like having everything around me I can just kind of turn around and reach and there is a new sticker box see happy everything that I need now all right I do this into a tray or over the tray and hopefully my nails will withstand this there is the small container they hold about a thousand drills they don't hold a full bag of Tina's drills usually because you get about 1300 in a bag give or take so I'm going to pour some in I'm not going to bother filling it Oops. Now, this is 3805AB. Now, what I have actually been doing with my other containers is getting a second sticker. Alright, now, I was a bit stupid when I got this. This actually fits on the bottom. So, the unfortunate thing with that is, while it's labelled, 
you can't see it when it's in the box. So I need to do a double label. And this is tiny. And what I also do is use half of these stickers. So I usually write them on an angle. And then snip. And stick that on. And Sophie was very kind to me and took on a heap of stickers off me a while back. You might have seen that video. I, was like, I think it was during a live, potentially. All right, so there's my identifying label. And there is my Elizabeth Ward label. And it will just get thrown in there for now. And the bag with the extras. So look at all those extras. So there's tons left. There's actually a lot of space left in those. When I first started decanting into my Elizabeth Ward containers, I actually jam packed them and then realized I didn't need to. So those ones got jam packed and there's like no breathing room at all. I'm not going to jam pack these in. Oh look, her kids have put smiley faces on the numbers. Get down. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oops. I can get more in there. Get down. Get down. Before we have an accident, Sophie, get down. All right, so they're in. Excess is in. Go and sit down or go and play. Now, I will actually start showing you these in a bit more detail. Sorry. My husband's watching TV, but it's going to be too loud and I'm going to get in trouble. And six, nine, nine. Maybe. I suppose it's fairly obvious that they're round. I could label them round and square. I have got them separated between my containers, I think. Anyway, we'll get there. There does need to be some sorting done of these. Sorry, I was going to show you up close these. So 699 is green and it's got a blue shimmer on it. And 3805 is pink with a pink shimmer on it. I think that one actually some of the shimmer was coming off. It was transferred onto the back and it was yeah, it was a little bit funky. Um, that's a manufacturing issue. That is not a Tina issue. So be nice. All right. Now, if you are still with me, um, as I'm doing this, no. Go and sit down. Um, Tina's website is live. It's not fully functional. Please, please be patient. It isn't handling the traffic because you guys are super keen and want to buy all of the stuff and you crashed the site and then the host went and kicked them off and did all sorts of stupid things and now PayPal is being pedantic with a brand new fledgling business for some particular reason because Tina's been doing this for a while now but anyway there are things that she is having to overcome and people are sending in messages and being I'm sorry insistent little brats can you please just cut some slack she will get there and I've got that stuff to a nail cover Joyce we will get there um Tina is doing her best 
and she is just as frustrated as any of you guys are with the lack of technology working the way it was meant to do. And that's meant to say A, B. Let me show you. I've got the chipmunk over here. It seems to be quite happy chattering to the side. Alright, this is 951. It's kind of peach and you can see that the glimmer is there and it's like a cream. It's it's almost a true to shade glimmer on 951. It just means I've got to fix my nails as well. More things to do. This one is weird. 434. 434 had a lot of um, swarf. Let me see if, can you, can you see that swarf up the top of the bag? That's like the AB coating. Um, there was a lot of swarf, as I call it, in this bag. You need to get down. No, you need to listen, Sophie. And this brown has almost a green tint. All right, just want to get that in and flattened and then I will give you a close up. So this one is 434. It's brown. Oops, what have I done? Brown. And you can see that it's a kind of a bluey green shimmer on it. So Yay. the shimmers Yay. on the ABs will change what you're looking at. So Yay. keep that in Bingo. mind. You go and find Bingo. The um, label maker must have got a little bit keen <laughs> cutting out because it's kind of punched through the back of the sheet as well on um, the Elizabeth Ward. Uh, that one is sealed. Nice. The regular ABs come in Ziploc bags. It's the pre-sealed crystals and stuff that come in... Um, other kind of colors. Now this is 905, this is a green and it's got a greeny blue shimmer. I'll try and do this before I shut the lid. So you've got this green and it's got a kind of blue shimmer, 905. No, Sophie, go and go to your room. Where's Bluey in your room? I chose to do the right hand side sticker on the first but look this is how I organize my drills you don't have to organize your drills the same way this way I can see all of these colors um, I've got my trays behind me and as I go through I will potentially bring them down and you'll see more like I'm not sure I'm just picking these out at a very random kind of pick This is a, it's like custard. Okay, 
Okay, let me show you that before I give it a proper snap close. That's <laughs> Custard743 with a silver shimmer. That is gorgeous. Um, yeah, when I've got all of these, I bought like all of the colors that I was missing up until that point. No. No. <laughs> That's Daddy's. Put it down. Now this is square. I might keep the squares aside just for now. I've got a mix. The unboxing video I did for this is quite a base back. If I remember, I will try and link it in the eye. I need a container and I need it open. I'm always worried about snapping a nail when I go and open it. Oh, this is a gorgeous blue. All right, this is 995. It's blue and it's got a paler blue shimmer. It is possible that I'm going to have to go back over all of these again and put round or square on them, depending on how I originally catalogued these things. But I should be okay. Sometimes I wish I had autofocus working, but it seems to cause way too many problems if it's on. This is 603 and it is a pink and it's got a paler pink shimmer. Okay. Alright, 761. Like that. Like that. Now, if you're interested in um, cover minders, Tina has what she calls hot spotters. I'm not sure how she came up with the name, to be honest. Um, I've never got around to asking her, I don't think. Um, they are more of a crystallized, I'm trying to find them. Um, they're a kind of crystallized shimmery sparkle on a cover minder. Okay, this is 761. I'll grab you hot spotters in just a second. Uh, there we go. So you've got a pink and it's a paler pink finish. No.
stop. Now, you would not want to be storing your regular drills in an Elizabeth Ward system um, unless you are a um, very affluent person. It is a very, very expensive system to have 447 squares and 447 rounds and then all of the sparklers, which I think there are something like 500. Okay, so... If you think that you can afford this, well, go for your life. I mean, you store in whatever way you, way you, you want to actually store them, but they, it, it is an expensive system, so don't think that you can use this for everything. These are some of Tina's sparklers. So I think these are hot spotters. And this one. And this one. With the kind of fleur de lis. And then this one. So they're extra kind of sparkly. They're large... Uh, one inch discs um, and then there's this one which is even more blingy she has heaps and heaps and heaps on her side there is no way I am going to collect Shh. but there is no way I'm going to collect Tina's hot spotters I don't have the space or anything else much as I love them now did no I don't okay. all right 741 into our mustard oranges Here. And I'm going to take a slurp of tea in just a second. Sophie. Oh, 741. Do not touch. This has a silver finish on the yellow. Give you a look. All right, so there's the yellow and it's got like a silver shimmer. It's like frosting. Done that and done that. I just need to stick them on. All right. Yeah, so as I was saying, the website, it launched last week, technical issues. It is still taking orders through. They're just going through very slowly. Um, and yes, they're, they're getting there. Be patient, please. No. And shipping is no. all down to local shippers. Um, some are faster than others. And they aren't necessarily giving you proper estimates. They're trying to hedge their bets and it's not necessarily working. And you might get it quicker and you might get it slower. I think this, now I'm going to have to check this one. All right. I think it's 224, but I will double check. It's peach and it's got a silver shimmer. Now, what I will do to check that that is the correct number is find this baby this is my DMC color chart book okay I'm looking specifically for a color so they're in order in the first chart if I can get past the intro two two four is a shell pink and that's kind of a shell pink the other option would be on this 229 there is no 229 so that's a 224 it's just the kids handwriting just double checking and I will double write that hi double write that on there all right just so I know it's 224 all right so Professional systems here. Two, two, four, not two, four, four. You know, she pays these kids. <laughs> Probably peanuts. 
but they do amazing work for her. You can actually see there's some photos of her kids working away this weekend for her. You know, family enterprise. But no, um, without having Jerry's support and the kids' support, Tina would not be doing what she's doing for all of us. Um, it started off with an idea, I think, and it's just exploded. And I think even she has been quite blindsided by the interest everyone has shown in just wanting these. Um, you would be surprised some of the questions we get as admins that you guys never see on the page. And it's like, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is 3770. This is actually quite, it's a pale peach. It's, it's a little bit peachier in real life than it's coming out on camera. And it's got a, it's actually got a true to color shimmer, that one. So it's it's almost got like a peachy shimmer. So it's uh, it's really cool when you get the true color shimmer uh, on your ABs because well you know it's going to be a true um, a true color, but also that the um, yeah the shine is just it just magnifies everything. It's it's quite amazing to um, to see these in person and I absolutely have some favorites in here oh you right loading her tablet you got chocolate on your tablet sophie yeah i got gosh you're cute She keeps on coming on doing this. <laughs> because I keep on leaning on my chin. And she waves her hands around like she's an Italian. There's no Italian in there that I know of. Here we go. Bye bye. Worst thing we ever did, get her into technology. Yes. Yeah, she's pretty insistent, as most two-year-olds would be. Anyway. And then with the whole Bluey and Bingo, I watch Bluey because it's like, that, that's my show. Oh, seriously, if you ever get a chance to watch Bluey, watch it. It's about a blue healer, two girls and their parents who's a red healer and a blue healer chili and bandit and it's bluey and bingo the sisters the uh, the storylines are really cool they're quite australian and they're hilarious and the dad is usually ends up with egg on his face but he's pretty game for anything it's it's all kinds of cool and chili is that kind of quiet mum in the background who just puts up and does without any kind of I don't know she just doesn't flinch she just kind of goes into play mode and it's like oh my god she's so brave so right 800 it's a pale blue and it's got a pale blue shimmer so again it's a true to color shimmer so if you are careful with your AB choices um I'm not going to be putting anything out necessarily like a document or, or anything saying this is a true colour, this is not a true colour, so that like the, the 3862 for instance is not a true colour. If you put that brown down it's not going to look brown. It's going to shimmer but it's not going to look like the original colour on your diamond painting. Does that make sense? Whereas uh, some of these they're just going to make the original color pop so um, you probably just need to just buy this stuff and see for yourself if there's some colors in particular you're interested in 
then please by all means message um, Tina, Amy, or I, or um, there are a couple of others that we do use as resources. I'm not quite sure how um, Debbie's stock level are. I'm not quite sure how Tiffany's stock levels are. I would think that Tiffany probably has easy access to her mum to be able to check with these. But if you have questions about any of these colours in particular, you want close-up shots or, or anything like that, well, you can refer to any of my videos because I've, like I said, I've pretty much got the whole range, not the new stuff, but I've got the whole range. Um, I've certainly got quite a, quite a lot of it. Uh, and I can help you by giving you a photograph in, you know, good, clear focus and colour. These are 992, what have I done? I've done that one. Right, 992, which is an aqua kind of green, and it's got a true to shimmer green. It's a little bit on the silver side, but it's a true to color shimmer. All right, so I can take photos for you, or any of us, you know, probably can, and we can certainly, if you have any questions about a particular color because you've got a particular project in mind, we will help you in the background. You or you can buy blind um, based on the photos on the page. But what I will say is just be aware some of these are true to colour and some of them are not. It's just the A B coating. It's nothing wrong, it's just how the A B coating finishes, maybe because it's predominantly silver on most things, but on some it seems to make a greater change than on others. So it complements a lot of these paler colours, but when you get into some of the completely opposite colours being like the brown or the reds, also are quite silver, um, you'll notice the difference. So you might be kind of going, oh damn it, it doesn't look like a red should be, um, because you might have put them in, I don't know, maybe a, a red apple and then you end up with it looking like a weird silver kind of apple. It's just the nature of the beast, so it's it's just the coating, and you probably won't necessarily get you. Oh, there there are other alternatives, but um, you won't necessarily get quite what you might be maybe had in your mind with that particular color. So you know, as normal, we have multiple shades of any particular color. So you've got three twenty one, you've got six six six. I'll show you the differences if I can if I remember, of what each would look like if I, you know, figure it out as I'm puddling along here. All right, this is 775. This is a pale kind of minty green. And again, true color shimmer with the AB. Um, if you're interested in seeing how these work out on projects, we have a photo album on Tina's group that you can check out uh, other people's conversions. And you can see where they've used it. Some have been excellent in detailing exactly where they've placed their ABs, showing you close-up pictures of how it might look. You can always go to, um, for instance, Diamond Art Club Facebook page if it's a Diamond Art Club piece and you can do a comparison of looking at the original painting with the um, upgraded sparklered version with extra ABs or whatever. Some people will use just the Diamond Art Club ABs and some will add more. Um, to give even more bling, like I was going to do with, I think it's Little Village. Um, I was going to add more. All right, now here's another example of a change in color. So this is 702. It is green and it's got a blue shimmer with the AB. Okay, 
So just to be aware. Uh, Tina has, I think on the site, the photos are all of the drills in a tray. So you will actually see the shimmer on the color um, rather than you seeing backs and fronts like you might when somebody's just showing you bags and or drills in a bag like I'm doing. I just got this mini box um, because I knew I was only getting pretty much single bags of all of these whereas um, I have a mixed box here that is, has the extra large containers uh, that stores my white, it stores my black and it stores my glow in the dark I might have got in bulk as well. This is playing havoc with my nails. I'll have two new nails to fix. That's okay. I think somebody else had suggested if you have got nails with these you can use the back of your tweezers. I'll show you in just a second. All right this is 600 this is a cerise pink and look at that gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer. It's almost like cerise pink and then it's trimmed with cherry blossom. That's stunning. Uh, start at the bottom. Sophie, you need to hold it. Punch these way too. I'm gonna lose this one. Punch these way too heavy on the machine. Ah, if I'm not careful, I'm gonna have to start using tweezers. Oh, that'd be annoying. I wasn't going to show you the tweezers. With the tweezers, you pop your top in and yeah, just flicks open. I don't know if I got that on camera. Goodness. In with the tweezers and just leave her and twist. All right. Whoa. Overly keen. All right. The beauty of these Sharpies is they tend not to smudge when you put them down, so you can do what I'm doing with the thumb across where I've just written. Now, these have a blue shimmer, 9, 10. Okay, so you can see that blue shimmer, so you've got a bit of a change there. So yeah, sorting is a little bit of a slow process. It's like kitting up. It's one of those, oh, do I really want to do this? <laughs> but you need to kind of do it to have the benefit then in the long run of what you've done, the hard work that you've put in to then be able to go, oh, I'm after such and such a color. Where is it? And you're able to just put your finger straight on it. I'm cross-stitching at the moment and I'm finding that on occasions I'm going oh, maybe I should have sorted these into order of number because then when I'm hunting for that number it would be much quicker but I haven't done that Oh. 
me show you this now this is a color change as well this is 166 it's kind of a lime green you know it's a weird kind of color but it's got a blue shimmer okay so it is different not lime green um mm, maybe lime juice not a green skin lime um I don't know what I'd call it. It's, it's kind of insipid greeny yellow kind of colour. Alright. Ooh, lilac. I think this is one of Rachel's favourite colours. Oh, I was actually surprised. I watched her unbox um, Dangerous Roads and I was surprised at how much 310, not 310, 550 was in it um yeah quite amazing where you find different tones of colors no no knocks bingo. no no bingo. 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 No. Bingo. no bingo no bingo bingo no bingo no bingo bingo tablet bingo. do you want me to fix your tablet What did you do? Did you put it asleep? No, you just locked it. Knock? Yay, knock! Knock? Uh, writing. Knock? This is where I need my husband's nails. Goodness. All right, 210 is a lilac, as you know, and it's got a true to color shimmer. It's slightly silverized, but it's pretty true to color. And there we go. Um, all right. This is a little bit of a slow process, I know. Um, I'm taking my time, trying to not make mistakes mistakes by throwing drills dropping drills or anything else would be slightly disastrous to be honest now this is another one that is in nowhere near like its color wait until you see it Alright, it's 8.15. 8.15 is like a slightly brown burgundy. So it's into, oops, it's into the reddish kind of tones. So it's, you know, a, a dirty wine, dark wine, uh, and then you've got the silver shimmer on the top, okay, so again, not true to colour, be careful if you're kind of thinking, oh, I wanted a burgundy, it might not be quite what you think. This is what I get when I buy quite so much at one time. But shipping to Australia is, yeah, it's definitely a thing. I don't know if the price has gone up. I need to double check with Tina, actually, if the price has increased international. I know it's increasing in AliExpress. They're starting to, um, what does it say that it's 
Free, but it charges at checkout, is that right? Well, it's free if you set up as free. So they say free, but then if you go in to select the number of items, uh, or something, say $7.36 shipping. Yeah, so they're charging for shipping. And it doesn't necessarily get here any dang faster. Not for everything. Yeah, not for everything. Um, and 727 is a gorgeous yellow and then there is a true two colour shimmer you can see there um, yeah free shipping was awesome on Ali now it's I don't know some of my items it's kind of like four bucks and it's like well is it worth it not necessarily or, yes, it's worth it and you need it to do whatever that thing is going to do. Yeah. Consumerism, hey? Alright, what have we got down to? Alright. We're getting into the fun the um not the rhinestones but the sparklers okay so three seven one six is a pink nope <laughs> my brain went to work there for a second <laughs> that's interesting <laughs> right uh, 3716 it's pink and it's like a silver shimmer but it is fairly true to color no no in there. Oh, that's, that's a square. That's a square. And then we've got glows and we've got squares for squares. I think that might be it. Nope, there's one more. So that's a square. Fun stuff ahead. Seriously, wait until you see these. Oh my god. Not the ones I've got in my hand. The the ones in my bag. Ooh, this is pretty. This is 414. This is grey. This is uh, one of the... I think they call them beavers for some reason. I'm so not going there. If you're not easily shocked, do not show this to your kids. But there's a story out there called Barbara Barbara needs a haircut. Barbara's beaver needs a haircut. Far out, it's funny. The innuendo is hilarious. But yeah, if you don't have a sense of humor, please don't read it. Or watch it on YouTube. <laughs> 414. Uh, it's grey and it's got a blue shimmer. Um, there was a video going around of some chick reading it. And she was cracking up laughing and occasionally she'd show you the pictures. And the pictures are completely legitimate. All these women had beavers. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You, you, you kind of, do you get the idea? <laughs> um, anyway. What have we got? That's rhinestones. And this is, okay, these are different. Right now, I'm going to have to get into my metho. Alright, now these are sparklers. These are sparklers for squares. These will go into a different container, but I'm going to just keep going in this container. This is ombre fuchsia. Oh my god. Wait until you see this up close. Uh, these... What is it? I can never remember the quantity. It, it's a ridiculous amount of quantity. It's like, it's either... 
the 1300 or it's over 2000 drills in here. I am not counting. I'm just going to enjoy what I have, but there's a buttload. Now these are for squares, okay? So these are 2.5s. These are not the 2.8s that you would regularly get for rounds, but they are round um, sparklers. Now, they are staticky in the bag or they're a little bit stuck in the bag. Let's see how we go. Hopefully they're not gonna be too jumpy. If they're gonna be jumpy and stupid, they are going to need a dryer sheet. All right, so this is what I do. Dryer sheet, cut a strip off, uh, find somewhere to put it. You don't need much. So there's, I don't know, two centimeters by one centimeter, give or take. I am going to drop it in this. And then I am going to try shaking it around. To remove the static from what's left in here okay now because these are sparklers for squares you can actually get way more in than you would of the round so don't go thinking oh there's not as many there they're smaller they're 0.3 mil smaller Still got one there. Got the dryer sheet there, and one flew into over there somewhere. All right, the dryer sheet is going to stay with them. There's no disadvantage to keeping it there. Where did that go? Maybe it didn't go in there at all. I thought it did. Oh well. Oh, let me get the dryer sheet out so I can actually show you these gorgeous things. All right, so ombre fuchsia. Where did I put my bag? Ombre fuchsia. It's a kind of plummy kind of color. It's a sparkler, so it's glass. It's got a silver back, which you won't see. And it is amazing. Uh, sparklers, if you are not already already aware, sorry. Sparklers have a flat top. So if you picture um, the mountain from Close Encounters, it's a volcano with the top chopped off. Now, this is harder to fit in. Ombre fuchsia sparklers for squares s for s and the detail will really go in the bottom s for s i say they do get labeled by Tina. There should not be any mistakes with the labeling, so don't be worried that you're going to go, oh, what's what, with any of these. They will either say the, say the size or they will say what they are. So sparklers for squares, 2.5. All right, and you might want to keep your 2.5s separate, okay? Sparklers for squares, light green, these ones. These don't seem to be quite so staticky, they're kind of falling down the bag a bit. Slightly different bag as well, I think. Feels a bit softer. These are straight from the manufacturer like this. I don't think these come 
to Tina for bagging. So there is no double handling or anything else. Uh, another thing, if you are particularly worried about contamination, given that, you know, virus on things, um, these things have shipped to Tina and then they have sat in Tina's stock, so you should be right. But if you're worried, yeah, metho, wipe your containers down with metho or just leave them sit for a couple of weeks, you should be right. So these are Sparklers for Squares Light Green. So again, it's the light green glass with the sparkler top. Now, it's my camera that's out of focus. The clarity on these are amazing. Very hard to write small on paper that bleeds. Next in line, Sparklers for Squares Teal. Now, again, this is a harder plastic, and I've got some stubborn bits that are staying high, so they might need a dryer sheet. Don't need much. And these work for any of your drills, having the dryer sheets in them. There's nothing particularly special about sparkers needing these or regular drills needing these. The dryer sheet trick works. You just need to shake them a bit in the bag and hopefully they won't go springing everywhere. I have had drills that I've taken out from being staticky and they've gone ping and popcorned out. Ooh, popcorn. Ooh, that's an idea. I might make some salted caramel popcorn now in a bit. And look, with the static kind of taken out, they do, they just behave themselves. They start flowing out of the bag better and yeah, they're awesome. The, whoever figured out the dryer sheet tip. Wow. Thank you. All right. Teal in sparklers for squares is a blue. I'll get you more of the color, not necessarily in the focus so that you can see the color. There's the, the blue in the light and it, the light really does it because it comes through like the volcano sides and then it's got the flat top. The shimmer is incredible on these. Um, the dryer sheet goes in, as I said, and it will future-proof those. And teal is at least a nice short name. They're a little bit more bluey than I think teal would be. Teal to me is a bit more green. There's one of those bases that they've overpunched. Oh, I missed a sticker. Oh, no, that's the sticker at the back. Ah. Gee. So they are quite blue, those ones. What's next? And these are, I suppose, the second generation of sparklers. So you've got the original sparklers, which are silver, but the second generation have started going into all these different... These are more like rhinestones, if you're used to doing your partial rhinestone projects. They're gorgeous. I love working with rhinestones. Um, I use this kind of wax pen. The, 
I wish there was a way to keep the top a little bit sharper, but that's the only downside with those. The picking them up and the dabbing them down is so cathartic. It's just, it's such a pleasure to work with them. And they work up really, really quickly. Um, they are awesome for in between fillers to, you know, you've got a large project and you just kind of think, oh my God, I'm brain dead from doing this large project and you just want something and it just magically just appears in next to no time. It's fantastic. Such a good feeling. Now look, see, two stickers there. Slightly softer, but it's still got some static. I will do a small cube. The other thing that does work if you don't have dryer sheets around, I don't have a tumble dryer, so I had to actually go out and buy. If you're not interested in buying dryer sheets because they're stinky, uh, you may be allergic to the scent or sensitive to the scent. I have a friend who is very, very... Um, smell um, affected so you might not like to have dryer sheets I have heard that tin foiled uh, little tin foil balls rolled up um, do work as well and I don't know why but they work in your dryer and they work um, you can also get other duvalakis that work in your dryer, you don't have to use dryer sheets. There are dryer balls, I think, that will also remove the static. I don't know enough behind the science to be able to make much more comment. I'm sure if my husband was not busy playing with electronics, he might even chip in. <laughs> he said he's an expert in balls. Mm -hmm. I've got some stubborn corners here. I'm gonna have to either send a tweezers down or, well, we'll see how we go. Get out. That's a bit better. There we go. All right, so this is Sparklers for Squares yellow. <laughs> it does exactly what it says in the tin, it's yellow. All right, what next? Lilac. Out of the way so I don't confuse my labels. Start making my label and there we go, all right. It has been really, really good having the versatility with these sparklers for squares um, that we can use with the square kit as well as the round. Most of the ABs come in round. There are a few coming in the squares, as in genuine squares. At Diamond Art Club have 141 and they have a few others and I can't think what they are and I don't have my catalogue. They do have... Um, spark the ABs in squares but yeah they are quite limited in range at this stage I don't think we will ever well maybe we will actually I don't know if we'll ever have all 447 rounds in ABs I'm not actually sure how many we have at this stage all right see they don't look Staticky. They've all gone down to the bottom of the bag. They've all behaved themselves and the bag feels a little bit different from the others. It's not that harder plastic. So, yeah. It's just down to the different plastics, I suppose. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. 
couple of stubborn ones. It might be a bit staticky in the very last. All right, now we got. And these are tiny. Um, I know squares are small, but these feel tiny. How am I going? Alright, so lilac is not quite lilac. I suppose it is if you get the light coming through it. But these are a kind of purple tone, but it is reasonably pale. But the, again, look at that shimmer that you get. And those silver bits that you see are just the backs. Okay, and you won't see them. These sparklers, if you have had rhinestone kits before, you will know that you will get the odd rhinestone where they colour the top the silver rather than the bottom. I haven't noticed that with sparklers. Um, whoever is making these things seems to be doing a pretty good job of getting it right and just putting the silver back on the colour. So what it does is it, it bounces the light back up off the bottom. Um, this one is called Fire. Now Fire is like an orange, red orange kind of colour. Sparklers. Squares. Oh, we have a light. Uh -huh. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Go yeah. Oh, right, gotcha. Goes to here and that's it. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. Happy. Can you make that spacer a little bit shorter? Yeah. So that it comes out further. Just like a centimeter. It comes out. You want that to come out further than there. So don't get your drift bit too. Oh, true. No, okay, leave it. Technical jiggery pokery going on here. My husband is fiddling with my craft light on the couch um, and it's meant that I don't feel quite so old <laughs> sitting doing my cross stitch on the couch and quite so blind because I've literally got a spotlight right in front of me. It's, it's really cool. Alright, now this is a very soft bag but I think the static in there. So again, I will prep. And then I will slice. I think they're pretty okay, but having the dryer sheet is just going to give that extra bit of reassurance. disobedient drills here and the dryer sheet has already come out. Right, so open the bag, shake it down, a little bit of a rattle. of a kind of gummy plastic. Actually what it reminds me of are raincoats that I used to have as a kid. Come on. One more. It's stuck. I see it's stuck rather than static, I think. Alright, the dryer sheet is out. 
Damp finger is the best thing I have found for picking up odd drills. And then we've got one. Alright, fire is orange. A little bit of a reddish kind of tinge, but more orange in tone. And I'm going to take a slur. Alright, ooh, we've got rainbow. Yum, cold tea. Another long word. What am I doing? I'm going to need a dryer sheet because they're stuck up the top. And I need the top open. Right, rainbow is pretty much what it says. It's got all the colours of the rainbow. It's got greens, it's got blues, and I don't know how this magic happens. It's got the silver back, and I can look at one drill, and it depends on which way the light is coming through it. And I can see green and purple in the exact same drill. It just blows my mind. Get down. Get the sticky plastic. Trying to keep the place tidy while I'm going. Not much static in there, they're just stuck in a couple of the corners until now. Oh, and I just heard one go flying. So there isn't much static in that actually, but I will put the dryer sheet in, I think. Oh, let's see. All right, do you see the color? So you can see that there's yellows and reds and these dark bits. I'm gonna pull back, all right? That's basically what your rainbow is gonna give you. It's gonna give you all the colors of the rainbow. Not too dissimilar to the black ABs, but it's just different and it's glass. And yeah, it's amazing. All right, what next? Cobalt. Well, cobalt is a blue. We should know that. Again, sparklers for squares, so 2.5s. I only need a vague indication on the front, the back, um, will, or the bottom will actually give me the true colour. I've got a sneaky couple of drills way up the top. I see we've got static, so we'll use that dryer sheet. Oh, I felt like I just got pinged in the nose by one. Alright, give it a bit of a shake. I want to get that dryer sheet into the drills so that it moves around with them. And 
does or any of that. Static. Alright. It's got most of them. Let's see how we go. It's almost like the static, the dryer sheet's got static affecting it. Right. Now, there they all go. Oh well. They'll all get there eventually. That's in Shakespeare, out, out, damn spot. Alright, cobalt is a royal blue. It's very, very pretty. There you go. It's a gorgeous, pretty blue. And they will get a dryer sheet. Are we there yet? There's a lot to do. Ooh, oh, these were really pretty. This is light blue. Now, light blue is, well, it is exactly what it, it says on the tin. It's almost like um, putting uh, blue food coloring into a piece of ice. It's got that kind of um, ice crystal kind of structure and it's gorgeous now, if I can write small enough that front sticker needs to be quite small to fit I know this is the back of another one. Um, now, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to edit this one. Um, I might put a little thingy in the front. It's quite slow going, I suppose, watching me put stickers on, but you do want to be able to look at the colors at normal speed. I don't think I'm going to be doing the chopping and changing with the editing. I think um, that's just <laughs> way too ambitious. So you can do your own in-house scanning, I suppose. All the colors, all her new range of colors will be here. Um, sorry, all the colours up until the last inclination are here. These are not the latest, latest, and I'm going to use dry sheet. There are newer colours. Alright, um, nearly there with these ones. I don't know what the best way to uh, plod through these kind of things would be for you. I don't know if a kitting up video is the most thrilling to watch. I do apologise for that. Uh, this is a light blue and you can see how some of the lighter colour is coming through the dark with the sun and yeah 
Again, those are silverbacks. Ooh. These are 2.8s. This is a frost and this is a sparkler. It's got the flat top on it. This won't all fit in, 2.8s. I'm just not gonna even try and squash 2.8s into the box. All right, these are like a silver, oops, a silver uh, clear sparkler frost. Um, I'll show you and you can make your own mind up. So, frost. So it's like having crystal ice. It's, um, it's not clear. It's silver. They're 2.8s. They're sparklers. Okay, does that answer your questions? <laughs> It's a sparkler for square and these are neons. I think the neons, I did have some in my original collection, but they were reasonably new for me. Oh, my lunatic is outside. So I need to mark these as neon and lemon being the color and sparklers for squares. So they're 2.5 neon. Uh, lemon sparklers for, sparklers for squares. All right, now the deal with these are they are kind of day glow in color. Sorry, I'm screwing around with your eyes up by not bringing you back down. All right, so these are very much, as they say, they are neon. And you will probably fit a whole bag in the box. That will need some encouragement with a dryer sheet. Get down in there. There we go, sort of. And again, a little bit of a nuisance. Try and get all of these babies out. These have a colored back And a clear top. They're sparklers, so they've got the chopped off top. And there you go. It's bright, bright, bright. Okay, the shimmer is nuts. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. And then we get the bottom sticker. I wish they didn't punch these quite so hard. I'm not going to need every single one of these labels.
They do come off these containers reasonably easy, given that a two-year-old could take these off when she was probably one and a half still. That was frustrating. And they all stuck to each other, so that was like, oh, yay. Yeah, not fun. All right, we're back into Ziploc bags, which is good. Uh, this is Neon AB Raspberry, which is pink. I will do the writing first. Raspberry is such a long word. Now, with these ones, I think there was some double ups on my collection. I had got some neons before, and I think we had, I had said to Tina, I said, just give me what I haven't already got. And I think I got some double ups. So I may already have a container with these. I could, I suppose, check. I'm going to need my drawer sheet. Where did you go? That didn't finish you. There it is. They're all out, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep that tip, that, <laughs> yeah. And before I go any further, I'm going to get... the tray. Alright, so that would be one of these babies. And these are heavy. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay. I've already got neon um, raspberries. All right, so there's my catalogue of all my colours, which is now invalid, but I've got neon raspberries. They're 2.8s, radio, and I don't have them in squares. And then I've got these, which are round ABs. Okay. Okay, I think I thought I had the same, but these are 2.8s and these are sparklers for squares. So, perfect. Not quite the same. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put these. Okay, these can go in here until I then sort the master collection somehow. Oh, lordy. This is the kind of thing, I suppose... You don't get to see how other creators do things and you kind of think, oh, I just do it my way. And it's not to say that it's bad, uh, not at all. But you watching me, if you're, if you're still watching me, thank you. Um, you watching me doing this may give you ideas for how you do things. It might change how you do things or you might kind of go, oh my God, she's so slow at doing such and such. There must be a quicker way. There probably is. Um, I could use a funnel. Uh, that is orange. This uh, Now, my favourite, favourite neon is tangerine. Um, if I get to it, I will show you. Squares. My writing was getting a little bit big there. This is orange. Neon. I should have put that to the other side. Sparklers for squares. All right. Let's get these babies in. 
The tangerine is a much richer orange. It's stunning. The bit of the dryer sheet is going to just help shift these stubborn moves at that last bit. Alright, so this is orange, and it is exactly what it says. It's orange. It's gorgeous. But let me show you the tangerine. And I will try and show you them both next to each other. Alright, so tangerine is this one. And this is orange and you can see the difference so the orange is quite muted next to the tangerine which is like pow <laughs> color Oops, no get that back in so there we go just stay for now Um, Alright, so what have I got to get up to? I would like to play, place uh, an order. Once I've got these sorted, I can place an order. I can go through and make sure I'm not doubling up on any of my sparklers. I can throw it in the cart, add it to the wish list, and when everything is working properly, um, I can place the order through. I'm ordering stuff and I'm not kind of stressing how quickly it gets here. Normally Tina's stuff, I think it gets here in about two to three weeks, maybe about 21 days is a normal. Um, I'm really not stressing about anything that's been ordered in the last couple of months other than to know it's still in transit. I did have some hiccups with um, Darn Good Yarn and Knit no, not Darn Good Yarn. Darn Good Yarn was okay. Knit Crate was okay. Sophie and Toffee, my resin, that went all kinds of wacky. Um, Sophie and Toffee had, they actually have February, March and April, now outstanding. And I'm kind of chomping at the bit to get those because it feels like it's been so long since I've had any of the new resin stuff to show you. Um, so really looking forward to getting those and they've all left Singapore I think in the beginning of May end of April potentially so yeah I'm kind of going can I have them now can I have them now but hey lockdowns happen so yeah just trying to be patient and then hopefully I'm gonna actually have time to play with oh, for squares. Um, I'm gonna have time to actually play with them when they get here um, yeah that's the main thing one of the kits with Sophie and Toffee I'm really looking forward to it's um, playing with dipping resin and wire and uh, I've got a few ideas for making pretty flowers there's instructions on the website and it just some of the results that I have seen from people who have got their kits it's like oh, I can't wait to do mine it's like oh, so exciting so yeah it's kind of like oh, you know can we get there yet but I'm just because I'm really looking forward to doing that one. The May? No, maybe it was a preview for June. I'm kind of going, yeah, not into that. I think it's the gaming dice. And it's like, mm, no, I'm not into the gaming dice, really. I don't think I have anyone in my world who's into the gaming dice. Neon, AB, and this is Lime. So it's a gorgeous pale green, and the shimmer is just fwa. Cool. All right. Um... Yeah, I would probably have to put some feelers out. I, You can skip months on Sophie and Toffee. Um, and yeah, it's Fee's fault I got involved in Sophie and Toffee. I subscribed from her link if you are interested. 
Um, the, the info will be on one of those videos, but basically if you subscribe and I get three subscribers, um, I get a free box. And then you you also do the same if, if you subscribe and you get three subscribers on your link, you get a free box. Something like that. Anyway, that wasn't the important bit. Pen is not liking lying down. Neon grape. It's purple, as you would expect. Oh, now hang on. That's just you. Okay, right. It's different, right? This is just a regular sparkler. This is a two point eight. So this is a neon grape, and I will write two point eight. It's a regular round, so I probably won't fit all of these in. Oh, I'll, I'll squish. All right. It's going to be tight. Oh, let's see. Here we go. All right. So neon grape. Oop. And it's. Got a blue shimmer, sparkler, it's got a square top. So that's how you can tell the difference between your sparklers and your ABs. The sparklers have a square top, the ABs have facets right around the curve of the dome. Does that make some sense? Oh, that is my lunchtime alarm. lime in a 2.8 okay so you've already seen that color neon lime 2.8 and that's a 2.8 just so it's more easily recognizable from the top and I'm not having to go through but as I said, I will categorize these as well. So they will be in their group sections too. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I am a little bit organized sometimes. Um, sometimes better than others. I think these will just squeeze into. Um, I don't know if it's a star sign thing. I don't know if I really put much weight into the star signs, to be honest. Or maybe it's just the horoscopes that I don't put much weight into anymore. I used to read them religiously as a teenager and I'm so disappointed. Anyway, this is a neon lime. It's green and it's 2.8. Okay. We are nearly there. We have got less than 10 bags left. All right, this is Sp Sparkler AB Raspberry. Raspberry being a pink. Again, the word is going to be too long. Neon Raspberry. 2.8, oh, so squished. Okay, Neon Raspberry. My uh, Miss Number 10 was doing homeschooling today and she's kind of going, how do you spell every? I'm going, oh my God. Sound of the words. 
listen to what you're saying, listen to the letters. And uh, I don't know if it commuted. And I said, and if you have exhausted all of that kind of method, then you can ask Google how you spell something. Uh, the word she wanted to actually spell was everything. And she's kind of going, E, V, E, and then there was an R, and then she, I don't know, got questioned on something, and she then went, N, and I went, sound it? What are you hearing? I was like, oh my god. But yeah, raspberry is very much, you have to kind of go, rasp, berry. <laughs> it's like, you're, you're saying all the little syllables, like February, it's like February, yeah, <laughs> when you kind of spell it weird. Raspberry. Pink. And it's Sparkler 2.8. Beautiful. I love it when they close, when they're jam-packed, and they still have quite a bit of space if you give them a bit of a rattle. Um, yeah, but from a storage container solution I absolutely recommend it for something like sparklers wouldn't necessarily recommend it for your regular drills it is a gorgeous storage system but um, I think most of us doing this have some kind of budget in our households and um, there is no keeping up with Joneses here there are some good recommendations and there are some bad ones and that is a regular 2.8 and this is a neon lemon 2.8 so while we as creators might recommend stuff you don't have to go all out you don't have to have the FOMO the fear of missing out please if you can't afford something get creative if you can make something chances are it's being made by someone so if they can make it you might be able to make it so think of it as even an opportunity that you might be able to learn and get into your own mini industry this is lemon it's the yellow you've seen it it's 2.8 um cover minders uh, are buttons are bits of wood um, they're stones they're whatever you want look I have a cover minder here from Happy Hippo Finds and it's a hippo it didn't come with the magnets from the store um, Elizabeth has put the, hip the magnets on now I don't like these black magnets but that's beside the point point. Um, the, the little silver ones would have been perfect for that but there is nothing to say that you could not go to your dollar store and find a whole heap of, you know, junk kind of cheap items and turn them into cover minders. You could do here. You could do these. This is a river pebble. It's rounded. It's, it's a pebble. It's been painted and it's been painted. You know... That's not going to cost you much. It's not going to cost you much to go to your river and to take the stones. Okay, don't. You can buy them as well if you really want to be environmentally conscious. You can buy river stones from garden centres and stuff in Australia. So I'm assuming that you could buy them if you're in the States from garden centres. Or you could buy river rocks. Wherever the hell you buy river rocks. All I'm saying is you can get... Free things, cheap things, you can get a piece of wood stick and you could whittle it down, chop it into little sections and you could make wood stop. You could make little wooden chips of cover minders with the, um, the swirl of the rings showing. And you know, that could be really nice. You could do something really different you could make something your own and you could sell it. I'll tell you this much. This is... Oh, I keep doing a three for S. What's wrong? No. Oh, okay. Um, this is an industry and where most people will support each other. So if we know, 
you have come up with a wacky idea of, um, you know, making a pebble into an item or making a polymer clay thingamajiggy or making just painting a rock. Seriously, you are going to get people who are going to think it's amazing and they will want to buy. You could sell it on Facebook. You don't have to make an Etsy store. You don't have to lose commissions. You don't have to do, you know, anything too fancy. But if you have an idea, get crafty. And it's a craft then. And be surprised when you can't keep up. Because it's something that I think a lot of us will support you in. Um, you just need to get your name out there. Just like Distracted by Diamonds, Robin did Paddywax. Just like Beth has got her Not Your Mama's Mud. Um, it just as Elizabeth Wheeler has Happy Hippo Finds. You start small and you build up. You can't all be um, Donnie in her store on day one. That's not realistic. This is grape. This is a purple. And this is a sparkler for square, 2.5. All right, so yeah, um, that's just a little bit of, you know, worldly advice. I suppose. Um, I have made my own cover minders. I have made my own pens. I don't particularly like it, but I like the technique and, oh, you know, some people are going to do it better than you. And <clears throat> you could learn from their technique. But as I said to Ashley this morning, <coughs> excuse me, watching her making her, um, flower pen with the translucent uh, filler and then she had um, leaves and flowers on the length of the pen. Oh my god, the pen is gorgeous. Watching her piecing it all together is just incredible. I love, love watching the process. I'd love to be able to do it. I know I could do it. I don't have the time to buy the stuff, to get the right stuff, to play with the pasta machine, all of that kind of thing. Don't have the time, don't have the inclination. I'm quite happy to buy it off her. <coughs> you will get people who will do that for you. And I know most people will do it for each other. Um, so yeah, it's, I don't know, sharing and caring. Is that a bit of a Care Bear thing? This is Sparkle for Square Neon Blueberry. This is 2.5. And the other one right here is 2.8 dryer square I'm trying to find white on white yeah that's the thing all right um okay we are nearly there with, oops, with this Um, I do thank you for your time I do apologize I, I knew it was going to take me a while but seeing on my timer that it's taking nearly two hours it's like oh man if you're still with me thank you really seriously um, this is blueberry this is blue it's lighter than the cobalt it's darker than the light blue it is different okay excuse me itchy nose and I didn't make stickers and blueberry is a long word as well yay neon blue and that's a sparkler for square and that just looks like blobs on my page neon Blue berry spark four square. When Sophie took the stickers off some of my boxes, I had um, remnants left, and I had to redo stickers, and I had to use my DMC book to identify which colors were which, just to make sure I was marking the right color. Um, because she was taking both of the stickers off the boxes, so I actually had 
completely naked boxes so <laughs> what I was doing was getting this sticker and the bits of this sticker and I was piecing them together and that was fun yeah don't let your kids near your drills and uh, don't let your pets near them either I've seen so many pets getting into drills lately it's like gosh stop it it's like sparkly poo <laughs> uh, oops there is a square back 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 Do be careful when you're opening these that you don't go too hard and too enthusiastic. <laughs> you'll you'll pop the lid and fling it at the same time, and your um, drills will shoot everywhere. All right, now this is another big word. Ah, oh, itchy. Neon blue berry. I feel like a bad mum right now. My husband is has gone to change Sophie, but I'm not sure that she's been fed lunch. I could smell cooking, but I don't know if the Miss Ten included her in food and then they went and played out in the deck so then I'm kind of going oh did they make sure she ate her food that she was given or it was just like yeah fuck it the two-year-old doesn't need to eat she doesn't need to be you know twice the weight she actually is she's tiny Sophie's really really small I mean she's lean she's you know and blueberry is blue um, she's lean and she's strong as all hell. Trying to fight that thing is like a cat fight. But yeah, <laughs> she's been asking for food all morning. As you heard at the beginning of the video, hmm. and that was after she'd had porridge and a bowl of raspberries and honeydew melon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Keeps going and a chocolate egg. And I was like, oh my god, child, stop eating. And orange. Now we have a couple of squares left. So this is uh, neon orange 2.8 neon I think it's uh, 1300 in these bags. Um, I haven't... If I was doing this, I'd be counting 1300 and then I'd be weighing it and then I'd be doing everything else to weight. I haven't checked that Tina's doing something similar, but I would imagine that's how she's kind of doing it. You've seen one orange. They're paler than the tangerine. I know. Um, but they're still very, very pretty. Uh, so, yeah. They're going to be within the ballpark of I don't know give or take 10 drills if you want to be pedantic and count your drills by all means go for it okay 3862 is quite a gross brown 3862 and it is a square Filled over half. This is 42? No, 70. 82 piece. 82 piece is the lid, the base, 80 boxes. I think. From a very, very rough guess. Uh, so what would that make it? Uh, 20, not 20. 12. No, 6. Okay, I'm going to stop and I'm going to tip some of these back in because there's no point in overstressing the container 
when I've got a few drills in a bag. So I might as well keep a reasonable amount in the bag. Alright, so this is the pukey brown. It really is a gross colour. I don't think I see it all that often. It's like a cheap chocolate. You know when the chocolate starts getting white? Have you ever had chocolate going white? Do you keep chocolate that long? Um, yeah. But that's what it reminds me of. The... And it's got the frosty silver silver blue kind of shimmer. But the brown itself is I think I was missing that from my original order though. Um, and that's why I've got some outliers. H20. Uh, look at that. I have finished a full sheet. Yep, all gone. A20 is blue, it's square. I think my brain's going to mush at this stage. I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Yeah, not gonna try. A20 is a gorgeous royal blue and it's got a pale blue shimmer on it. Four is one of the greys. This is square. Quite a grey day here in Tassie today. It was drizzly when I went out. I put some Ada um, ice dyeing outside on the deck to um, hopefully be finished by this afternoon. It may be too cold and the ice is going to stay solid for a lot longer. Let's see. This is a grey. And here you go. Uh, silver blue kind of shimmer on that one. Um, sticker. Now, when I purchased these, I did show them to the camera. If you have anything that you want to um, double check. Now, these are some of the new colours. I don't think I'll put those in right now. I need to get the full bags of those. Uh, that's me done. Right, so let's see this gorgeous goodness. Dryer sheet. Okay. So, these are the last lot of new colours. And this is more. These are glow glass here they do glow in the dark and um, we've got neons we've got some squares I, these will be able to be categorized now that I've got more of these boxes um, it was very much a bit of an experiment actually buying these Doris Ward containers uh, 
but I'm very glad that they're working out. And then these are the round ABs. So what I need to do is sort through all of these, get them into number order, and I'm not going to do that on camera. I think I've talked your ears off and let you watch some boring colours um, on screen. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the colours as I've put them out in, into the containers. As you can see, look, these are really easy to cite, to look at the colour and kind of go, oh, I've got some, you know, red I'd like to substitute. And you can go straight there and you can kind of go, oh, which, which red tone can you go for? So we've got like a range of the different colours. Um, and as I say, these are not the complete range. Tina has got newer colours since these have all been purchased. So please go check them out and um, put an order through when the site starts behaving itself a bit better. And uh, you can enjoy as much or as little as you like. To be honest, I, it's very hard to stop putting things into your cart. Um, <laughs> my husband sniggered. I think he's being a bit rude. Um, if there is any questions you have about which colours, I will put them on a tray. I will take a photo for you. So please comment, message and um, let me know uh, or any of the admin team in the Sparklers group. We will help you as much as we can in figuring out what you need to be able to pick the right colour for your project. There, As Tina is in the States already, you are only going to be waiting maybe a week at the most. Um, so I think it's a really good investment and you're supporting a small business as well. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for hanging in with me and seeing uh, most of my stock. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned some stuff um, in the process as well. I know I've rambled on many, many different topics and I um, do appreciate each and every one of you coming and watching as long as this is and yeah it does take time to put them into containers so you know kit up while you're watching I don't know we'll see all right thank you and I will see you around uh, there will be other links to the sparklers videos because there's each of these installments as I got them out of the bag so you can see how they're actually presented to you as a customer when you make a purchase and you can see them in the bag form as I unbag um, this was just me kitting up and I did say weeks and weeks ago that I would show you these kitted up and how they get displayed. So I may do a little insert at the end when I've got them all sorted out just so you can see or I may add in photos around about now so you can see how they've been sorted ultimately and um, yeah you can yeah take a bit of pip a brain and see how my brain works. All right thank you bye for now. All right, I have got them sorted. I'll take the cover off so you can kind of see a little bit better. I've got my glow glass here. I've got my odd color names, the sparklers. So these are the kind of metallic-y kind of tones. There are some colors in here as well. I've got my 310s and some sparklers. I've got my glow here. I'm actually gonna move that, put it with the other glow in the dark. Um, blanks down the bottom. I know you could seriously you could shuffle these around all freaking day and still not be happy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um that's that container. This is I think what I've just done. So these are all of my uh round ABs. Um barring the 310. I haven't got the 310 in here. I've left the 310 in there with the massive box. I could put it in here. Again, yeah, shuffling around um, forever. There's five 200s as well. Yeah, they could potentially fit. They were very much put in here as a bit of a scop. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I could, yeah, as I said, I could shuffle these forever in a day and still not be happy. All right, that's those ones. And then there's these. These are my jellies and my fluorescents and my squares. So as you can see, there is not many squares. There are so many more that I could go and get, and I probably will. So um, I will sit here with this, play around a bit more, and still not be happy. And then I will go see where I go on the store. All right, just letting you know what they look like when they were all done. All right.